Congratulations. Welcome back to Toronto. Nice to have you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, your other, the other films that we've seen, they were adapted from your graphic novel. So mm -hmm. how hard was it for you to direct something that wasn't from your writing, from your head? But actually it's easier because, you know, when you write something yourself, you have the feeling that each word that have, you have written is the word of God because everything comes from you. And to have the distance with the base material, which is the script, is quite difficult. I have to do it at the end, and I do it, but it's difficult. While when you have a story that you love, but you have not written it yourself, you have the distance when you read the script, like what can we cut, how can we improve, how can we do this, how can we do that. So in a way, it's easier. And for me, it was really like a great gift because you know I will never sit and write a story about a serial killer myself, never. Right. But uh, if I love the, the the story, it becomes mine and it opens the the the, the door of a whole, whole world to me. I become like Alice in Wonderland. You know, I, it's like. Everything is new to me. Yeah. And so what was your re initial reaction to this? Because this is complicated, and you have to have the right actor playing this role. <laughs> I was like, okay, this story is very amoral. Uh, it, I, I, it's subversive. Uh, I love a serial killer until the end I have compassion for him. Uh, I love this cat who has a very bad mouth, and I cannot put the script down. GP, this is this is something for me. I have to do it. And how am I going to do it? Because you know, it's something. You know, we do this, we do that. He cuts, he puts. You know, mm -hmm. but then you have to do it in images. So it was a very challenging but extremely interesting project to do. I can imagine. And then of course, you know, he cast Ryan Reynolds, who, you know, I, listen, we know him forever here in Canada. You know, and he, we know how great he is. But my God, what he did in this movie! You know, six different characters, pretty yes. much. That's crazy. How did you know that he was going to be so good? I did not know. I knew he would be great. I what the first thing I saw because you know I saw this, this movie that he made that is called Buried and you know being you know in a in a coffin for one and a half hour and, and you know keeping the, the the tension is not easy. And I saw a very bad movie called Green Lantern. The movie is bad, but that is where you understand what a good actor he is yeah. because even in this bad movie he manages to make something you know with the character and then i met him and i you know i knew he would be great but not this great you know he really came and actually he exploded everything you know i was many many times you know i was just you know i was you know telling him we do this we do that and you know he would come with proposition and these are this really rare and intense and gracious moment then we are not the, the directing anymore but you're the spectator you're like wow what a, what is happening in front of my eye is just marvel and yeah. that that that's ryan and very uh you know obviously you would take his suggestions on things that he wanted to do i would think too right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but you know we, we we were working really uh, as a duo you know we were really very, very much trusting it, it, each other i enjoyed very much you know he, you know i was open to all what all his proposals position and he was open to all my suggestions so you know uh, if you work in this relationship of trust mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it works very well and it's not to send myself flower but uh, you know I have many bad quality but I don't have this ego problem you know like you know it's my movie you have to do what I say because if the guy proposed something that is much better than what I have said I just shut up and I say, great, thank go you very it. much, you know, go for it, yeah. you know, they, 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 so I... It's only making the movie better. <laughs> we, we are yeah. there to make a movie, we are not there to flatter my ego, that is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we can flatter your ego too, because you did a really good job. <laughs> yes, uh, be, uh, using the talent of the of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, with last, you know, of course, you know, they say never work with children and animals, but my goodness, like working, I mean, cats can be difficult. I was oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I just cannot tell you how cats are difficult. Like in the film, the cat almost never is in the same room. The cat is filmed separately because you say to a dog, sit, they sit. Yeah. Say to a cat, the cat sit. They, 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 that's the last thing they will do. And this cat was really, you know, had a, was young and had a lot of attitude. So, you know, he would never do what we wanted. But the dog was better. Oh, the dog was amazing, you know, see it, go, come back, be sad, he would do anything, he would, but the cat, you know, the editor of my film, who is also more co my collaborator, he filmed the cat because he's very, very patient with animals, but really, sometimes he was sitting for four hours before the cat would have the <laughs> pause that we wanted, because it's a cat. It, it is what it is. 
<laughs> you have to take them the way they are. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on this. You've done really a great job. It's very, very interesting film. It Thank totally you. stays with you. That is for sure. Thank and that's you. what you want. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you nice so much. You.